plans in the Senate. In Washington, Raquel Martin. Now, the legal smoking age in Colorado is still 18. However, on Thursday, the state house passed legislation to ban vaping in public as part of an effort to also address the teen smoking and vaping epidemic. Senator Michael Bennett has successfully been treated for prostate cancer, clearing the way for a possible 2020 presidential campaign, according to his office. Last week, Bennett's office said he went and underwent surgery over the weekend and has been recovering at home. He will require no further treatment, and the three-term senator has said he would run for office, the White House that is, if he is cancer-free after treatment. Well, smoke will be visible in West Garfield County on Saturday as part of a prescribed burn. The Upper Colorado River Fire Management Unit will burn over 700 acres of BLM land just south of Silt. The smoke will likely be visible in eastern Mesa County. If you have any questions, you can find additional information at the number on your screen. Please contact Chad Sewell. Schools throughout the Denver metro area went on lockout and lockdown on Friday afternoon following tips made through the anonymous Safe to Tell reporting system. The lockdowns are the second this week in Denver and come on the eve of the 20th anniversary of the 1999 Columbine shootings, which left 12 students and one teacher dead. Police searched a middle school in the area for weapons while the campus remained on lockdown, while schools in Brighton, Commerce City, and Thornton were placed on lockout. Meanwhile, the families of those 13 people got a special delivery Thursday. Crosses for each of the victims in Columbine made by a man who made crosses after the school shooting 20 years ago. Greg Zanis brought his crosses for losses to Colorado from Illinois. Zanis says he's delivered more than 26,000 crosses over the past 20 years at nearly every national tragedy since Columbine. All right, shifting gears, we're going to bring in Chief Meteorologist Chris Nation. And Chris, you were telling us earlier what a beautiful day it was. We all saw it. Absolutely it wonderful. But that was here in Colorado. Further east, they had quite the breakout of storms, yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean, Logan, they had over 30 tornadoes. They had at least a dozen homes and at least two.